So, hi everyone. So, for today, this is our second session. So, last session, we talk about self-awareness. So, all about self-awareness. How did you know yourself? So, we will talk about the importance. How self-awareness is essential to all of us. We also discuss the how to develop self-awareness. And uh, we also talk about those signs of uh, being a uh, lack of being uh, lack of self-awareness. And also uh, we discuss what does self-aware means. So for today, you no. Know, one uh, as part of sa, as part of the discussion sa to ang uh, first session in which uh, each one of us no we feel stress no we uh, experience stresses so for today we will talk about stress management so as do we believe and as i believe that each one of us no with this time of pandemic with this new normal new strategy of learning online class so wala ka na anad no so tanan sa ato ah nobody cannot feel nga uh, wala na stress so kita tanan na stress so for today we will talk about sa uh, stress management no so kay tanan man ta naka feel og stress tanan man ta na yung mga stresses so we need to manage our stress because as I have said, nga ang ato ang stress it could lead us into anxiety, in which it could lead us into depression. No nga makahatag sa to ang mga mental disorder. So we need to manage our stress. So for this session, we will talk about stress management. So but before we start, please uh, prepare. Please prepare uh, your paper, no any scratch paper nga makasulat mo sa inyo ang activity, and of course bow pen. Please prepare your bow pen. Kay natay mga activity, then I hope so nga mo mag cooperate mo sa inyo ang activity. Okay? So prepare, prepare. Nana, okay na nana inyo ang papel. Nana, nana bow pen. Okay, proceed ta. So, session 2 na ito, no? Stress management. Okay. So, our objectives. So, at the end of this session, you will able to learn, no? Uh, to define stress and stressor. Name the two kinds of stress. Identify the physical, cognitive, emotional, behavioral symptoms, or stress responses of the body. And number four, perform coping tips and strategies in managing daily stresses. Okay? Now, activity one. So, proceed sa ta sa to ang activity. I hope so nga na amo karon sa place nga we're in free from any noise, free from any distraction. Please do find a place, uh, please do find a conducive environment for learning. No, we need, uh, in this session, we need to focus. No, guys, this is all for you. No, para ni sa inyo, ha? And I hope so mag-cooperate mo. So, I hope so nga, uh, mag, mag-cooperate mo sa activity. Okay. So, for the activity, for our activity, uh, prepare uh, a ball pen and paper uh, or any sketch paper. Then after this session, please, uh, please go to uh, pictures and you hang activity. Then I pasa sa uh, EPM sa kwa or pwede ra sa GC niyo I pasa. Okay, so kay after ani natay sharing. So after my presentation, so we will meet, then we will have a sharing. Okay? 
So, question number one. Please write it in your paper. What do you think your greatest source of stress as a student? Okay? So, isulat lang sa. Number two. How did you manage it? Okay? So, write it in your paper. Write it in your paper. Okay? Then, answerin ninyo siya later on after my presentation. And then, uh, i-picture ninyo para sa ito ang sharing. Okay? Now, we will define what is stressor. Okay. A stressor, it is any event or condition which initiates a stress reaction. For example, the causes the stress. No? The things that can cause stress, that is stressor. Or any event or condition which initiates a stress reaction. That's what we call the stressor. Okay, now, let us define what is stress. Okay, stress, the generalized response of the human body to a variety of external and internal demands. Okay, so, ang stressor is any event or condition which initiates a stress reaction. And then, the, the stress the generalized response, no? There is a variety of, uh, what you call this, uh, event or condition nga maabot sa to ang life. No? Nga, if dili na to ma-manage, if masubraan, makakos og stress. That's what we call stressor. Okay? So, ang stress naman is the response. No? If the event or condition nga maabot sa imuha, is naka-trigger sa imuha, naka-cause sa imuha stress, then the reaction nga naa sa imuha, sa imuhang self, that's what we call the stress. No? Response. No? The response of the human body to a variety of external and internal demands. Okay? So, there are two kinds of stress. Okay? Number one, the you stress. It is the positive or curative stress. For example, no, sa mga you stress or positive ng mga stress, preparing an upcoming wedding or other family celebration. No, sometimes, uh, yes, it is good nga na ay wedding. It is good nga na ay family uh, gathering, mga family gathering because oh, it's so nice, no nga sa lang baya ang family gathering no lahi ra pag magkatapok ang pamilya so happy ta but somehow mas stress ta no kay patay ang preparation ani no daghang kay kailangan i prepare kailangan og kwarta something like that so it is positive but naagihap mo siya stress because of the preparation okay next training a favorite sport no, you know what? If that sport is favorite ni mo, so you need to train. No, sometimes, sometimes, pag masubran tayo training, so it can cause us nga, mas stress ta. But, that is you stress, that is positive stress, because you want that. No? That is your, uh, that is your passion. Okay? Next is pregnancy. So, both, uh, couple, diba? So, kung mabuntis na, so, happy kaayo. Diba? Happy kayo kay magka-baby na. Na makabuo ng family. But, on the other hand, na stress Oh, it is a responsibility. What if maglisod kong panganak? No? Something like that. Okay? That is positive. But, on the other hand, na siya stress nga, ikahatag. Next, Example is preparing the submission of class outputs. 
Okay? So, it can, uh, ano, sa to, ano, nga, ma-pressure ta. Hala, okay na kaya ni? No? Uh, unsa man, unsa kaya, no, tama ba kaya ni akong gibuhat? Something like that. Preparing, no, the submission of class output. It is positive because you need to prepare naman. No, that is good that you need to prepare the submission of your class output. But on the other hand, makahatag siya sa imuhag, uh, stress. Next, preparing for an examination. No? So, uh, in examination, you need to prepare a lot. You need to study a lot. Okay? So, in preparing for an examination, nga grabe ni mo, uh, grabe ni mo study, it can cause stress. But that is you stress. That is positive. Positive nga mga stress. And many more. Next. Now, what are the reaction to stress? Now, positive nga stress. Now, what are the reaction? So, first, stress. Now, positive nga stress can add challenge and opportunity. Okay? It will add challenges sa imuhang kinabuhi. Like, I need to study hard. No? Diba? No, I need to challenge myself. No? Kailangan ako ni... Kailangan ako ni mapasar. Kailangan taas akong grades. And opportunity. Diba? Kaya kung maningkamot ka, taas imuhang makuha sa imuhang exam, taas kag score, no, it can add... It, it can add challenge and also opportunity because pwede ni mo siya nga uh, after, no, ang imuhang grades nga taas, pwede ni mo siya nga magamit nga pag-apply sa scholarship. And of course, after all, inig mo graduate ka, so pwede siya mabasihan pag mag-apply ka sa trabaho nga, uy, taas ka grades. Diba? It can add opportunity also. Okay? Stress can increase motivation. No? Positive stress, mas ma-increase ang imuhang motivation. Diba? I need to work hard. I need to study hard. Okay? So, it can motivate you. It can add motivation. Next, positive stress can lead to working harder and thus be more successful. Because you strive hard, no? In positive in positive stress, you need to strive hard. No, kay kabalo ka, kay kabalo ka nga, uh, maayo ang iyang resulta. Guys, to tell you honestly, mas uh, mas lami sa feeling no nga uh, maging successful ka nga imo nga imuhang yod siya nga gipatuluan og singot, gipatuluan og luha. No mas uh, mas lami, mas ma, mas lami sa feeling nga ma-feel ni mo na nga success. No ikaw nga sabi nila na you cannot feel success if dili daw ka ma-failed. No, something na dili ka malipay sa isa ka butang kung wala ka miagi o kasakit. Something like that. Huh? Next. Now, number two nga stress. No, ikaduha nga kinds of stress. Uh, we call that distress. No? From the word itself, distress. So, unpleasant or disease producing stress. Or that's what we call negative nga mga stresses atong kinabuhi. Okay, distress, it is a stress that continues uh, without relief. It can disturb the body's internal balance or equilibrium such as chronic pain, lack of meaningful friendships, Anxiety, depression. Okay. So, distress. It uh, it talk uh, it will talk about it talk about yung mga negative ng mga stresses sa tuang kinabuhi, no? Nga nakahatag sa tua o mga uh, uh, like for example mga sakit, chronic pain. No, lack of meaningful friendships, 
like broken relationship from your family, loved ones, friends, no? Anxiety, no? Mga overthinker. Okay? And even, even depression. Okay? So, it means nga, distress, no? It can disturb the body's internal balance. Those, these are those, uh, uh, mga, mauna siya ang mga stresses nga makahatag sa tua o kasakit. Unlike sa you stress nga positive, positive ang iyahang resulta. No, though may stress ka, but ang iyahang product is maayo. Unlike sa distress, nga negative, good siya. Okay? Now, what are the reactions? no sa tuang body sa negative stress so negative stress no too much stress can seriously affect your physical and mental well being so that is why we as a, as your guidance advocate of the Oriental State University so uh, this is one of the objective why why nga gikandak ning first year formation program is that to help you guys no to help the student of there so to be more to be more aware about mental health no because uh, mental health is very essential it is very important okay because uh it's one of the negative effect of of uh, stress ng mga negative negative stress no it can seriously affect your physical and mental well-being. Okay? Next, it, cra- it can shrink your self-esteem, making it more difficult to function well in life. Now, it can affect your body. It can affect your well-being. That is why we need to cure that uh, negative stresses in your life and it leads to burn out huh? and reduce effectiveness academically and personally sometimes those ne- negative stress not sometimes but most of the time no those negative stresses sa ato ang mga kinabuhi no it can reduce effectiveness nga di, di na ta di na ta ganahan mag-study, di na ta ganahan sa atong kinabuhi, no like di na ta ganahan mag di na ta ganahan ma, mabuhi because of those stresses. Because you know what stress no more ni more ni sag kanang uh, according to them nga silent uh, silent killer daw. No silent killer daw ng stress. So that is why we need to cure. No, we need to manage, not cure nga mawa yun siya 100% because that is part of our life but we need to manage no? at least man lang ma-manage na to ang inyong mga stressors sa kinabuhi okay now what are the causes of stress okay both positive and negative events in one's life can be stressful Right? However, major life challenge, uh, major life changes are the greatest contributors of stress for most people. Okay? Major life changes. No, ang pagbago sa ito ang kinabuhi. No, that is the greatest contributors of stress for most people. They place the greatest demand on resources for coping. Now, causes or sources of stress. So, pinakauna major life changes that can be stressful. Pinakauna ng example niya is that geographic mobility or the lockdown that we have experienced last year or within this year. Diba? We experienced lockdown. Like we can't move, we can't, uh, we cannot go to the place where we want to go, 
we cannot go to the place where we want to travel right so geographic mobility in in which uh, unlike before that you can go anywhere you want and uh, and basta na alang kay kwarta diba but <coughs> excuse me but for the past few months years you cannot go because of the lockdown and <coughs> With that, it can cause stress in your life. It is naanad ka sa kinabuhi nga dapat mo anikod, mo adto ko dito ah. Dapat mo laag ko dito ah. No? So, it can cause stress in your body, uh, in, in your whole, whole being. Next is practicing health protocols. A lot of protocols nga need na to ipalo. Right? Nagang kita ipalo nga mga protocols like social distancing, wearing face masks, So, with that, uh, sometimes nga, if, if we cannot comply, oh, I forgot my face mask. So, di ba, mas stress din kay basig na mga police. Uy, <coughs> excuse me. Pareha to. Bawal mag-ubo-ubo. Uy, nag-ubo-ubo ka, makitan ka. Pasay ka. So, mas stress din ka. Di ba, di ka, di ka makasuot ang face shield, di ka makasuot ang face mask, mas stress ka, basig dakpon ka sa mga police. Next is marriage. <clears throat> so marriage, it is a kani ang um, major life, no event sa to ang kinabuhi nga uh, mag change ang ato mag, mag mag change na no ang ato ang lifestyle as in mag transform na siya. So it can cause stress, uh, both in preparation sa mga marriage and of course magunahuna pud ka kung unsa may next after marriage no unsa na may next ani so it can cause stress next is parenthood pag mga anak na ana din ka nga oh it's a new responsibility lahi na pud nga responsibilidad sa imong kinabuhi am i uh, effective nga pagka parent like that then unwanted pregnancy na sometimes pag ito nga unwanted at unwanted dili gusto so sometimes makahuna-huna ka nga ay ipalaglag na lang ko ni kay sa grabe ni mga stress ba so it can cause uh, stress unwanted pregnancy death of loved one mamatian ta so grabe gina siya ng stress kung ikahatag sa tua and being fired from your job of course if mo fired ka uh, maka question yun kasi mo ang sarili no? am I not essential am I not effective or efficient why so a lot of question nga mo abot sa imo ang mind nga kahatag sa si imuhag stresses. Next, environmental events. No, causes of, uh, causes or sources of stress di hapon niya through environmental events. Number one is time pressure. No, uh, sometimes, mapre- dali ra kita ma-pressure sa time. So, kinsa bago yung dili ma-pressure, no? Sa, mang, sa oras, nga, makaanta dali ra sa oras, oy. So, pressure sa oras. So, it can cause stress. Next, noise. So, kung saba kaayo. But, naman po yung mga tao nga, mas stress noon sila pag ningaw. No, they like noise. But, environmental events, one of the sources and causes of stress is that noise. For me, like for me, so, I, 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 I really don't like noise. Next, disappointment. Like, you are expecting something to someone nga dili day niyo mahatag. Like, you are expect, uh, nag-expect kag, ano ba, nag-expect kag something nga, oh, pero wala niya na hatag, wala niya na show. So, mga disappointment nato sa ito ang kinabuhi. Like, 
uh, abin po pero wala di ay okay next <coughs> being late uh, being late number five catching cold or COVID-19 symptoms ba <coughs> kaya ni ba before if ah uh, kalinturaho na ka ubuhon na ka si puno na ka oh, basig COVID na ni basig unsa na ni so nga mak uh, with that no makakos sa stress ay mo kay maski pag gisubawan na dahil ka ato pero ang muna muna kay mauni mga symptoms sa COVID-19 basig na COVID na ko di ba so it can cause nga ah uh, it can cause stress sa to ang kinabuhi Now, school-related sources of stress. Number one is competition. Hmm, sabi na sa mga bright bright no, sa mga bright bright dara ah, competition. Now most of the student motivation is to get higher grades, to be an awardee, to get a scholarship, or just to feel great and have something to show their parents. And to, and to the significant others. That is why makipag-compete. That is why nga na ay competition. Because you want a high grade. I want scholarship. That is why need na ko nga mutaas akong grades. Or, shall we say, I want to feel great. Because pag taas yung muhang grado, oh, that is pride. <coughs> diba? Pride. Kaya taas ko grado, bright ko. Something like that. And, you want to show your parents that <coughs> you are great. Nga gusto ka ma-proud yung mga parents and <coughs> your friends or your uh, significant others yung mga friends. So, that is why na ay competition. Gusto ka makipag-compete. Nga in which, pag dili mo ni mo ma-manage, mas stress na noon ka. Pag dili ni mo kaya, mas stress na noon ka. <coughs> Next is, Lack of financial support from or oh, and others resources. So, prone gid ni sa to ano? Because uh, I do believe na most of us naman is mga pobre. So naagya po yung mga dato, mga classmates yung mga dato ng uban anak. So most of us sa to ang pag-skwela. Mabot yun sa time na kani ang mas stress ta because wala kwarta. Walay pang load. Kung mag face to face na, wala na po pang bayad sa boarding house, walay pang allowance. So it can cause us nga ma- nga ma-stress ta pag maayo. Ba? So that is uh school related sources of stress. Oh, na pa di ay. Number 3. Responsibility responsibility for people. Feeling stress because of personal feeling about being responsible for other people like your classmates, birdmates those mga tao nga murag ka nang very responsible like oh uh, no next work and school related sources of stress time pressure stress caused by perception of unreasonable deadlines and time demands somehow sa inyong mga uban yung mga teacher uban yung mga instructors like maghatag og activity nga taas kaayo pagkahuman tagaan dayon mo og deadline nga ora da ora ora da dayon nga deadline nga sometimes pud nga dili dili makahunahuna nga dili dili lang sila ang inyong subject so nga ma- maano yung say process nga nga makaano nga makahatag sa inyo ang stress so that is uh, one uh, isa sa mga causes of stress related sa uh, school and work no like si boss maghatag si boss og daghan kay nga trabaho niya kailangan mahuman nimo ni kailangan ma-accomplish dayon nimo ni parang naghana then tagaan kag deadline no time pressure <coughs> Next. 
responses or symptoms of stress. So, what are the symptoms? No? So, may mga symptoms na stress ang isa ka tao. First, physical. Physically, number one, you feel headache, chest, neck or back pain, shortness of breath, increased pulse rate, diarrhea or indigestion, insomnia or problem problem of uh, sleeping, dili makatulog, nausea, fatigue, sexual dysfunction, weight gain or loss, no? Take note ani guys. Uh, dili ibig sabihin nga pag pag nanambok ang isa ka tao, happy siya sa kinabuhi. And then, dili po ibig sabihin nga pag payat ang isa ka tao, nagbawas, dako ugi bawas si ang timbang, happy yang kinabuhi. As physical symptoms of stress, so weight gain or weight loss, it, uh, that is as symptoms. Symptoms no nga na kay gipagdaanan, na kay stresses ng gibati. Loss of appetite. Number 8, loss of appetite. Sorry, nagka-mix-mix nagka mix yung number. Like, wala kay gana mukaon. Sa hypod, stress eating. Nakusog kayo mukaon. Wala akong gi- Agian. Char lang. Okay? So, tiring easily. Dali lang ka po yun. Butterflies in stomach. Prone to illness. Elevated blood pressure, mga high blood daw, and grinding teeth. Nang magpuan sa teeth, basang ipon. Next, uh, feeling, or sa emotional, <coughs> emotion, no, symptoms, so manis tayo mga symptoms, mga stress ng isa ka tao. So, anxious warrior, dali lang siya mag-worry, scared, dali lang mahadlo. Mahadlo, irritable, or dali lang masuko, moody, depression, panic attacks or anxiety, like ka ng mga overthinker, and worry, mag-uol. Now, in thoughts, low self-esteem, fear of failure, those person nga mahadlo, nga ma-failed inability to concentrate embarrassing easily worrying about the future preoccupation with thoughts and tasks and forgetfulness kali lang makalimumot now in behavior those uh, take note ni guys sa kay behavior once ang isa ka tao, if iini ang gipakita ang behavior, so it means nga na siya symptoms of stress. Crying for no apparent reason. Nuli lang siya mahilak guys. Acting impulsively. Impulsively. Nga mag, uh, ano, manglihok. Impulsive. Frightened easily. Laughing in a high pitch and nervous tone of voice, stuttering, and other speech difficulties, being accident prone, and losing appetite or overeating. That is symptoms. Now, let us proceed to coping tips and strategies. So, we already defined what is stress, what is stressor, what are the causes, no, what is the kiniang action sa isa ka tao once stress siya. So, now, we will talk about the coping tips and strategies. How to cope up with stress. No, mga strategies nga ma-cope up nato or ma-manage nato ang ato ang stress. <coughs> Okay, yung number one, uh, quick and easy relax, uh, quick and easy relaxation techniques. 
For number one is breath. Now, breathing. When that fight or flight response kicks in, your be your breathing becomes becomes shallow, and your heart rate speeds up. It is important to slow your body's biological response by taking several mindful breaths. Just breathing. So deep breathing, guys. Now inhale your through your nose. Uh, purse your lips and breath out. Okay? So, here are the benefits of uh, deep breathing. No stress management, relaxation. Deep breathing is beneficial in very stressful situations or even if you are already calm. Body responses if a person has anxiety. So, racing heart, sweating, Shallow breathing, sense of fear, difficulty of concentrating, and blank mind, black minded. Okay, deep breathing initiates relaxation responses. So it's lower breathing, feeling of calm, lower blood pressure. So that is the benefit, no? Deep breathing. Now how have a drink. Well, not, necessary, not necessarily a drink, but taking a moment to sip some water or calming tea is good to stop the jitters. So, drink water. Drink a lot of water. Then, take a walk. Baktas-baktas. Dili kayo magsigaragligid. Okay? Step away from the situation, literally. Give yourself 5 minutes to walk around the block and clear your mind. The physical exertion is good for body, for your body, and the time away from the, from the office will assist you with your stress relief. Huh? If na alang kasi mo yung balay, kaya quarantine ka, then at least, matutuyok sa inyong balay. No? Baktas, baktas. At least 5 minutes. <clears throat> okay. Get a hug pat. So, according to the study, every person needs at least 4 hugs a day for survival, 8 hugs a day for emotional stability, and 12 hugs, a total of 12 hugs a day for fulfillment. So, yung ano daw, kadaghan nga hag ang ato ang kailangan. So, sana all na ikahag. So, pangita ang yun mo o kahag, dara guys. Next, laugh, laugh some more. So, ika nga, laughter is the best medicine. And a quick release for stress when you are ups upset. Keep funny photos nearby, watch, uh, nearby, Watch funny videos and have a joke file. Keeping a sense of humor is is crucial to maintaining a work-life balance. So, di ba? Laughter is the best medicine. So, if you want to manage your stress, then, you know guys, sometimes, if, mabot ko sa time nung nga, mas stress man po ko. Like you. Ba? Sanin man ka mas stress. But, you know what? If I have a lot of problems nga nagyan like uh, kapoy na siguro na so ano tan ako mga funny photos no mga funny videos so with that uh, makatawa ko no may nalam makakatawa ko because laughter is the best medicine okay so you can also have laughter yoga now number six listen to music music has a has a remarkable effect on your body play your favorite music in the background as you work so sometimes if we if you are stressed like gibulagan sa uya so amut lang yun guys amut lang yun nga nung pag pag broken hearted no nga nung pag broken hearted ang ginapa play nga music is mga love song and halos na lang sa tanang love song ipa-play, makarelate ka. 
So, grabe mystery ang music ba, no? So, if you want to manage your stress, so, if, if you want nga dili ka kaayo ma stress, so, if, if maghimo ka sa imuha ang mga work, so, play music. No, minakod music while while working, while studying. So, that is one tips po. One tips po siya para mamanage ang imong stress. Next, think what the worst that can happen. Stop and ask yourself, what the worst that can happen? Spend spend five minutes brainstorming every disastrous outcome of your current situation. Then take a moment to rest by uh, by taking a few uh, a few minutes to to vent and then realistically assess your situation. You gain perspective and can form a backup plan in case the absolute worst case scenario strikes. So think what the worst that can happen. Stop and ask yourself. Number eight is aroma therapy. So the kai koro kananisya guys no Sita. Number nine is exercise. Okay, so this is very uh, important. No, not only nga, nga mamanage ang atong stress, but for the physical health sa ato ang body. Not only emotion ang ato ang ma, ma ano sa exercise mamanage. Uh, not only the stress, but our but to maintain our health physically. So, on siya guys, overhead reach, nga mga, ano, exercise. Dance! Number 10, dance. So, di ba? Sa inyuhang introduction, sa inyuhang mga sarili. So, a lot of talent there nga dancing. So, dance daw is makarelieve sa ilahang stress. Ang dance daw mo ay makatabang sa ilaha. Pag once ka po yung sila, Diba? Naanat sa inyong mga video. So, dance. If passion ni mo ang mag-dance, mag-dance. Rest. Magpahulay. Okay, ikaw nga. If you are tired, then rest. But do not pit. Sleeping. Sleep a little. Cute, na ako eh. Relax in nature. So, add to mga bukid mga dagat at ka ganang mga nindot yung mga view mga view no ito ka mag relax relax with nature so have fun giggle a lot body scanning or scan uh, body scan meditation so body scanning involves paying attention to parts of the body and body and bodily sensation in a gradual sequence from feet to head by mentally scanning yourself you bring awareness to every single part of your body noticing any aches pains tension or general discomfort yoga and tai chi okay so for the activity 2 Okay, take note. Take note sa inyong activity to. Perform a deep, uh, deep breathing exercise and body scan meditation. Okay. Uh, just give me a sample. No. Uh, video ninyo. No, video, uh, video ninyo ang inyong sarili. Uh, example sa i-perform ninyo ang deep breathing exercise and body scan meditation. At least one minute na video. Okay. Deep breathing steps. Okay. Step one. Sit comfortably with your back straight. Put one hand on your chest and the other hand in your stomach. Step two. Inhale a deep breath in your nose. In, in through your nose, 
the hand on your stomach should rise, the hand on your ch chest should move very little. Hold your step three, hold your breath, and step four, exhale through your mouth, pushing out as much air as you can. The hand on your stomach should move in as, a, as you exhale, but your other hand should move very little. Then continue to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. So deep breathing exercise, sit or stand with your elbows slightly back, inhale a deep breath, hold your breath, then exhale. Okay, so close your tatagi diretso guys. Okay, so always remember that to be strong inside and out is more than a skill to learn and a habit to practice. It is knowing that in our weakness, we can lean on someone stronger than we are. That someone could be our family, our friends, and even your priests or pastors and helping professionals like us but we should never forget that they are only representing god they are only representing god who is the real source of strength inside and out if you think you need help please no do not be hesitate to email us through GT, GCTC at DOSCST, uh, DOSCST Dorso, that edo that ph, or you can PM me for more details and for if you want uh na kay kastorya, if you want if you need someone yung mamino sa imo ha, so do not hesitate to to talk me, to call me. Chat me in Messenger uh, 24-7. Thank you and stay safe. Okay, so for the activity, nga ako ang giingon ganyan atong sa activity 1. So, uh, isend sa kua, isend sa kua <coughs> sa Messenger and pwede rapos siya sa GC na to. Okay, so thank you and stay safe everyone. Bye-bye.